Another high-powered rehearsing tool is when actors form and create the plays they are going to act in by themselves. You could have read about these techniques in Stanislavski's books with students preparing their so-called living room for training studies or etudes. Likewise, he recommended the actors arranging a cashier desk, being an accountant, a coach, being Chatsky in Woe well from Wit, and so on. The biggest benefit is that actors get directly, often involuntarily, into the character's circle of thoughts, as Stanislavski called it. Not only that, but also performers approach characters' needs, dreams, strivings, things most dear to them. As soon as actors themselves take care of their room's partition at the rehearsal, they will, willingly, fall into the circle of actions and thoughts of their characters. Therefore, it is possible to cancel the call of workers, props, assistant directors for rehearsals. The actors will do everything. I've always stood up for that. But for some reasons, this happens only in studios, moreover, only in the first years of their existence.